So I was just scrolling through Twitter, and Adam22 was trending now. I never really watched No Jumper, except that there's like a specific person. Like I think Jideon had a podcast there, and I watched it. It usually just depends on the guests. Don't never really cared much about um, Adam. I feel like there's a lot better interviewers out there. I feel like Adam's interviews are kind of boring sometimes, but usually I only watch if it's like a person um, that I like. But I remember like a year ago, we heard something weird about him. I don't know. Like, I haven't done research, but there is this video of him trending now. uh, And Drama Alert posted it saying Adam 22 is trending due to people labeling him a cuck uh, for Alina the plug filming a corn. Not going to say the word because... I'm not joking when I say this. YouTube has been demonetizing a lot of my videos. I'm genuinely getting sick of it. I'm tired of it. And it's literally caused me to think if I should even continue on YouTube. Because I'm genuinely losing money because of YouTube. And it's not like I'm a big YouTuber. It's an annoying thing. And YouTube needs to get the review system. Because I'm not about to wait seven days to upload a video. You know, I'm so tired of it. But it says a scene with another man for the first time in seven years. Alright, so... Funny enough, <laughs> Destiny's on the video, bro. I'll get into that in a bit. But this video will be about open relationships. So let's actually watch the video. It's at full volume. So I've been with my girl for seven years. She just got married. We're not in an open relationship. But from a porn perspective, we shoot with other girls. Stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But no other guys busting her coochie and ass up. Well, you guessed it. Over the weekend. Oh, no. Something like that happened. She filmed her first ever scene with another man. I knew he was mad. Shit. He was I mean, angry. I, I agreed to it, so I was. But, I, was, but, I say but, angry but, might not be the word. But she was kind of like disappointed a little bit. Like, vibe like, cut, like, cut, that's your sick. You know, I agreed like, to it. She gave me a lot of outs on the way in. Like, yeah. she kind of kept telling me, like, if you don't want me to, I won't do it. You, you should know? Have said no. I, I, I said that I wanted her to do it. I'm like, on top of millions of dollars, Adam. You didn't do that shit. Fair enough. But I, I told her, uh, I'm like, I think you should do it. Let's let's get it out right, the way. So how, how do you vibe about it now? She's 32. Did you get you an old English? No. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't need to drown the pain in okay. the old English. Uh, but I was kind of surprised because I feel like I can, like, intellectualize it. And <laughs> from my perspective, I, I don't think it bro? should be a big deal. But then after she actually did it, I'm not going to lie, I did feel kind of odd. Oh, know, maybe a crib. A little bit of that like feeling in, in the belly, See, you know? You know what, 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 like, I got like Bro, you let another man lay down the pipe on your girlfriend. I think you should feel more than what you just felt. <laughs> hey, you can't even blame her for it because you gave her the green light. I don't know. Yeah, like, oh, God damn, like, yo. <laughs> yo, I can, bro, I can just see now, like, I can... De- Bro, you pull the sneako, bro. Pull the sneako. Why is this picture so zoomed in? You pull the sneako, bro. Uh, so the reason why I brought up Destiny, I I watch Destiny, and I I'm a little mixed with Destiny. He's a very smart guy. I like the fact that he pushes back on the manosphere in front of their face in person. Uh, same thing with Nick Fuentes. You know, I like that he does that. But one thing that I've never understood is the open relationship aspect. The swingers. Uh, look, I, everyone out there, do what you want to do. As long as it's two consenting adults or even multiple consenting adults. As long as you're consenting adults and you're not harming the other person, that's okay. Everyone has their kinks. Everyone has their weird things. But open relationship not only are you in open relationship or well he's not which makes it a little worse when you stop to think about it but you were you allowed another man to do something to your wife or or not wife girlfriend and 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 not only that but considering it it was for a scene it's now out in public and then Destiny here, and I, no disrespect to Destiny, but he is in an open relationship. And to me, I don't think it's good to promote that. And they're not promoting it, obviously, but I don't think it's 
good for that to happen because to me and i don't mean to be disrespectful i don't know their individual relationships for all i know they're in a loving committed relationship but to me when when i hear someone say they're and i've never in my personal life i've never heard anyone say they're in a swinger open relationship but when it when someone's in an open relationship and i've seen it on the internet to me it almost sounds like it's an unhappy couple that are trying to figure out a way to stay together because to me when it comes to any kind of act like this that's very intimate to me that should always feel personal that should always feel like that's between you and that person and no one else it's kind of like when you're talking to a friend about something that that's private you know that moment between you and your friend that's a moment between you two and you keep it like that and the same applies to when you're with your girlfriend or boyfriend and you do something like this that should stay private or or you know, I don't know why Adam is even saying this story, bro. But, I mean, I guess it's out there. If it was a scene like this, then it was out already out there. But I don't know how you even allow this. Even with other women, like, like to me, it's like, bro, you're getting cucked by a girl? <laughs> you know how the whole joke, you know, back in the day with, where, like, you couldn't get beaten by a girl or it was embarrassing? Yeah, this time you, you did get beaten by a girl. You got cucked by a girl. I'm just kidding. But... Look, if you, if you want to do this, cool, do that. Do whatever you feel comfortable. But to me, the, it's, this is embarrassing. First of all, why even reveal it publicly? You're just going to get made fun of. Second, I don't see the whole point in it. Because I feel like in a relationship, you both fill each other's needs. And I feel like when it's something this important in a relationship, and you let somebody else do this, like it's kind of like... What's even the point? I'm not saying a relationship is all about intercourse. Obviously, it's not. That's part of it. But it's a big part. You know? And I also think it's dangerous, especially if you're planning on having a family. You know, there's diseases out there. Um, And then, obviously, pregnancy. Like, imagine your girlfriend's pregnant, and you don't even know if it's your kid. Like, the whole joke of, like... Oh, you wait nine months and then your baby's black and you're like dating a white girl. Like imagine like that whole meme could happen to you. Like as the whole. And and I don't know, like we make fun. We made fun of Sneeko endlessly. For his now, to be fair, it's mainly because Sneeko brought it up up on on himself. He was acting stupid. He was acting dumb. Uh, But like. I sometimes feel like the same should apply to other people, bro. Like this, this, this is not good. This is not good, because to me, I, I just don't get it. I don't get it, and to me, I feel like this is very. This is just very weird to me. Um, and I don't, I don't, I don't know why I even make it public in the first place, but I don't get why I do it in general. Like it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, just, why. Um, and I, to me, and th- and look, we made fun of iDubs for something much less. His his girlfriend does OnlyFans, and by the way, I'm gonna say this right now: if your girlfriend does OnlyFans, I don't even, I won't even laugh at that because that you know that you still remain that intimate moment between you and your special someone else. So in that moment, I'm like, all right, doesn't matter. But if you're letting somebody lay down the pipe on your girlfriend, bro. I don't think there's something more demasculating than that, bro. Like, what are you trying to do? You're letting somebody... Like, are you trying to learn tutorials? Do you not know the game? Like, do you need... I mean, you run the Jumper podcast. Like, why are you... Why? (laughs) And I know some people are going to criticize me saying this is a very backwards take. But, like, why would you even want this? Like, I'm sorry, but when I'm in, in my... When I'm in a relationship... And usually when you're in a relationship... You always know what your basis of relationship is, whether, or, you know, like, w- like you, you kind of have rules for one another that you kind of follow by. Like, you know what I mean? Like, maybe your husband's not allowed to stay past 10 p.m., you know, because he gets out at work at 6 p.m., so it might be a little odd that he's out at 10 p.m. or, or something like that. Like, there's rules like that. I wonder how this works. You let another guy do something to your girlfriend, bro. I... I I feel like if this happened to me, I wouldn't even be able to live with myself. I feel like I would probably just break up with the girl. 
You know, I feel like it'd be too much on me. Because it's because I've heard des and I remember one one time I was searching up you know Destiny's open him talking about his open relationship and I was like okay I want to hear what his perspective is, and the whole time it just kind of screamed like because their entire motive was that that part of a relationship isn't important and to me I just disagree I think it's so important you remain that intact and I feel like if you're looking for other people to keep you satisfied in that area it's kind of like you know like then then what's even special anymore like it's kind of like you just like i don't know bro I, it's just because to me i look i'm I'm a, I'm a very traditional guy when it comes to relationships you know i want to get old i want to i want to get married i want to settle down to me i don't like this whole hookup dating uh sphere i know guys like to hook up with girls even some of my friends will like constantly talk about how they've been with multiple women to me, I've never been a big fan of that ever since I was a kid, and my dream still remains intact. It's always been to settle down, find a wife, have kids, have a house, and live maybe not happily ever after. But, you know, the the gist, I know that's basic and traditional and boring for a lot of people, but that's genuinely my dream. I, I just don't get why do I want to look for a new girl every week like that? That gets boring. You know, it's like, and especially because right now I'm, I've done so much reflecting. I made a... I was doing, I said something in a video a while ago that right now I don't want to be in a relationship. I don't want to be in any kind of, you know, type of relationship at all with the woman right now. Because to me, I, I, I'm i focusing so much on myself, you know, of losing 38 pounds, you know, hopefully by tomorrow it says 40 pounds because I've not actually checked the scale in like a week. But to me, I've been reflecting, working on myself so much that to me, I don't want to, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to affect that because I have bigger goals right now. And I know with, and, and it's funny because that was in my mindset when I was like 18 or 19, when I was 18, 19, I wanted to just date multiple women. That's what happened. Make, made some regrets along the way. But eventually now I'm in a different position where I'm like, I don't want to get married now. Obviously I don't expect myself to get married until probably my late twenties, honestly. But, but right now my motive is, relax work on yourself build a career build the future make good memories right now i'm in my i'm in my early 20s i'm enjoying life right now work on yourself that's everything i have right now in my mind and and that's just how i believe that's just kind of my beliefs and i feel like i think a lot of guys in their early 20s i feel like there needs to be that guy that just talks to them and tells them hey if you're not if you don't want to date girls it's okay that's all right. I, I, because at the end of the day, you know, some people might have higher body counts, but it doesn't change anything. You know, at the end of the day, there's risk to it. And I feel like that doesn't get talked about enough, you know. Like, we we like to talk about how women should stay pure. I feel like sometimes men should stay pure. Not saying you should. I mean, I'm obviously not. But, you know, it's like we need to stop promoting this idea of sleeping with multiple women is going to help us. Because it really doesn't. It didn't make me happy. It made me sad, actually. I ended up gaining a lot of weight because of all of it. And now, I've how long? I mean, we're in June. It's about to be July. About to be seven months. And I've been, I've been happier than I've been in a long time. I don't even know if it's noticeable in my videos. But considering I made a big change to this channel, considering that I'm looking far better at everything... To me, it's like I feel like sometimes guys need to reflect on themselves. And I know I'm getting off topic, but again, this channel is basically conversations that we can have. And I feel like this is just another example of this because I don't think this makes anyone happy. Like, I don't I'm going to say this right now. Maybe it might be a hot take. I don't think Destiny's happy, bro. I, I really don't think. And she seems like a nice girl. I've seen videos of them together. They seem like they're they like each other, but. I don't, I don't know how you can stay happy knowing your girlfriend or your wife is out there. And vice versa, too. It's like for the girl, like knowing your boyfriend or husband is out there looking for other women to satisfy him. And it's like, I don't know how you live like that. Like I, I don't know how that works in the mindset. And I just don't think it's healthy, especially for younger men. Um... And the same thing, I disagree with a lot of manosphere guys. I don't think sleeping around with women is going to help you. Do I think you should go out and date? Sure, yeah. 
but do it in a better manner don't just go out there looking to sleep around because at the end of the day it's not going to satisfy you at the end of the day you're going to get old and you're just going to think oh okay i flex in front of my friends for a couple years then what like you know um it doesn't help you in anything really but I don't know. That's just my mindset. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but that's usually how I think of things. But if you're in an open relationship, I do pray for you. I hope you uh, find a better way, if that's a good way to explain it. But that's all I got to say. Thank you guys for watching. hope you all enjoyed this video. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think about this. Do you agree? Disagree? Whatever it is. And if you're a Destiny or Adam22 fan, y'all go ahead and let me in the comments. Because I like having conversations and... Those are my ba basically my opinions. See y'all in the next one. Ciao. Yeah, we broke and we know it. We don't act like all these other rappers acting like they got racks. Borrow cars, but we whipping in my mom's truck. 99 full, but act like it's a double R. Yeah, we broke and we know it. We don't act like all these other rappers acting like they got racks. Borrow cars, but we whipping in my mom's truck. 99 full, but act like it's a